you again. I'm, um, I'll just keep doing these JB5s and throwing them up there. And if you watch them, fine. If you don't, fine. I think it's kind of fun. <clears throat> um, this is Journaling by Fives, designed by Shannon Green. This is my third journal, and I'm ready for my fourth session, which is focal point imagery and words. You have 15 minutes to go in and add whatever you're going to add. I have a pile of pre-cut, but not pre uh, planned. These are smallish pieces that um, are suitable for this book. I don't know where they're going to land. I don't know what's going to go with them. And then I also have a handful of words. Most of this is fussy cut already. And in the case of the words, they can go either direction or I can cut them apart and put them, make them fit however I want to do that. So I've got a pile of words and a pile of images, and this is a fun part because the book begins to take on a personality, and uh, it just gives me, the artist, something, <clears throat> something serendipitous to work with <coughs> as I move into the final sessions, and then at the end of five sessions and some free play where I can go back in and add whatever I want to, I've got a finished journal. This has been a very, very good experience for me because I came to mixed media art journaling from more of a fine art background where I'm a representational painter in oil and pastel and I'm in caustics and watercolor. So to just come here and be able to Tear bits of paper and smear paint has been a valuable learning lesson for me, and I'm still enjoying it immensely. So, um, I mean, scraps from magazines and a 28 cent book from the sale rack at Hobby Lobby, and uh, you're in business. So, anyway, enough talking. I'm going to get ready to uh, start the video.
Alrighty, I will have to say that I like my glue box, my glue sponge. Um, it does tend to feel like it's drying out about halfway through it, so I flip the sponge. And because I have three sponges in here, I swapped the top one for the middle one. So that gave me a good saturated sponge. Um, this is all new, so I'm just playing with it to see what it takes to really make it work. It could be that I need more glue in it or I need more water. So I sprayed it several times, but the goal on the stage of collage in a journal by fives <clears throat> is just to get some portion of the thing stuck down. Then you can go back through after the timer goes off and uh, with matte medium and a flat palette knife and get up underneath any loose edges and then coat the top of it. And then I dry it, flip over to the next page. So first go around, all you're trying to do with the glue sponge is get it down. And a lot of them glued down great. So I do think it was an issue of not enough glue or the sticky dried out a little bit. But here's a quick run through of journaling, journal, journaling by fives, journal three, step four. Yes. And it's focal points and letters. And that pile that I showed you in the beginning, I used every bit of that. So I was really kind of getting into a panic toward the end, hoping I wouldn't run out. So note to myself and note to you, be sure you get plenty in your stacks to choose from because you don't want to run out. Okay, doke. Quickly, um, I'm going to have some real challenges this time making something cohesive out of these. But um, I'll attack it with a mindset of it being fun and just keep on going. This is a Tisha Moore collage sheet. I like the way she's put different elements together, but you do have to have more time to think about things that you glue together like that anyway. What we're doing here is just slapping down pieces that don't relate to each other. This is from one of my printables. It's from uh, some of Randy's mother's ephemera that she saved. This is a deli sheet. This is one of my printables. It's um, a deli sheet with a mask on top of it. This one has possibilities. Is it gravity or attraction that keeps me here? I need to get some more women's magazines so that I can cut out some, you know, a little more enjoyable stuff. Randy's magazines are all guns and hunting and ammo and stuff like that. And there are some of those in here because the ads do have some clever titles. The mask is from one of my printables and it couldn't fit that one any better. This is a piece of junk mail from an order on Etsy I got. And this is Randy's mother and her sister, and the best of what we're made of, and I think that's apropos. And then there's an egg. I don't know what that has to do with, but we'll find out how it goes. Here's another mask on one of the Dina Wakely stamps. And this came from a cigar magazine. They have the best artwork in those magazines. And I intended to put some cigar bands in here, but I completely forgot them. Um... The jewelry. This one's kind of cute. Fussy cut. She's selling Gen Air stoves. Go figure. But it's about dreams and it does look like Cinderella and there's a bird. Quiet please. Sunshine. So there's mom and jammies. Just some odd pieces. I don't think I had any words left at this point. Or I guess I did have a few. This has been floating around my office, no Sherlock. It was on my desk, and then it was in the floor, so I figured I better get it glued down before it disappeared completely. Back to the future. Did I say that already in here? Surely not. No, it's about dreams. Okay, back to the future. That's it.
I hope that somebody out there gets a little inspiration from this. Um, it certainly is an art form. It's uh, non-threatening. It's uh, inexpensive because you can use what you have on hand or just use craft paint. And um, it's fun to play. And that's what I'm learning for myself is how to play. So over and out. See you on the flip-flop.